GLP-1 agonists may decrease dementia risk. Their cardiometabolic benefits are already well known, and new data is emerging about possible neuroprotective effects, such as these two studies recently published by JAMA Neurology. A meta-analysis of 10 randomized clinical trials found that people taking GLP-1 agonists had 45% reduced odds of developing dementia or cognitive impairment compared to people not taking those medications. This was specific to GLP-1 agonists, as those taking SGLT2 inhibitors did not show decreased dementia. It's important to note that these studies had short follow-up durations, which may underestimate the effects of these medications on disease prevention. Another study looked specifically at the relationship between glucose-lowering medications and dementia risk in people with type 2 diabetes. In contrast to the first study, this paper found that both GLP-1 agonists and SGLT2 inhibitors were associated with lower dementia risk compared to other second-line glucose-lowering medications. There was a lower incidence of dementia in people who started GLP-1 agonists, with about two fewer cases per 1,000 person years and a hazard ratio of 0.57. When individual GLP-1 medications were studied, semaglutide, which is the newest and most potent GLP-1 agonist on the market, was associated with lower dementia risk compared to SGLT2 inhibitors. As stronger GLP-1s are developed, they may need to be studied separately from older medications in the class. The neuroprotective mechanisms of glucose-lowering medications are still being studied, but we do know that GLP-1s promote glucose regulation, which can decrease the vascular changes that cause cognitive decline. Preclinical studies have shown that GLP-1 agonists may increase synaptic plasticity, decrease tau phosphorylation, and lessen amyloid beta accumulation. We are in the early phases of discovering the health effects of GLP-1 agonists, and further clinical trials can help us learn even more.